you know let's move into a little bit of a rapid fire segment which would kind of you know make this a little more fun so you obviously have to be uh, rapid and your answers can be as short as they want so we can go and cover a lot more what's one word to describe your journey to becoming an engineering manager at phase of pay right now um an upward uh, trek or like an upward climb nice and like what's one tool you can't live without <laughs> tool as in like uh, uh, like a computer or thing or like a technology whatever like a tool an app or whatever that you just can't work with my, my laptop <laughs> okay awesome cool uh, what's like the most challenging project that you think you've worked on uh it's it's a project that i've done for rezepe it has to do with uh, having sort of an ai layer around payments and hmm. the challenge there is you know the velocity of payments uh, in india hmm. we have upi everywhere right so uh, you <laughs> we, we are talking about you know uh, lakhs and lakhs of payments every year so creating hmm. an ai platform that can sustain that much traffic is a good challenge awesome um and what is like one tech trend that you think is overrated uh i i think uh, ai will replace your job is extremely overrated i don't think uh, gen ai is anywhere close to reasoning it just emulates reasoning in a way that you know it can fool us it's like a magician trick to me so yeah, yeah. i don't think anybody is getting jobs replaced yeah if there is redundancy then it's a separate story that might get replaced but thinking and logic will not get replaced anytime soon great it's good to hear it from somebody who works in the domain for sure uh yeah. awesome so what do you think is like a very crucial soft skill for you know somebody in your kind of role uh yeah it's uh, it's called le5 uh, in the tech world basically uh, explain it like i'm 5 okay. uh yeah that that is a super critical skill in terms of communication right so as as a engineering person i need to know how much depth i need to talk to somebody who works with me versus how high level i need to talk to let's say a vp of sales or a vp of marketing or somebody else all, all together right uh, probably an end user who's walking on the road and asking me how does razor pay do this right so yeah. i think that explain to me like i'm five is a very good uh, way of explaining how communication works yeah that's that's great because sometimes i think when you talk to somebody in tech it becomes it they get to there's too much jargon and then it's always difficult for anybody who's non tech to kind of gather what they're even trying to say and i'm very happy to report that i've understood like 99% of this conversation so you really have aced this soft skill i must say 